Hello all you amazing people, it is Riley LH here with another video and today we are back with the turbo-ish Miata and today we are deleting AC. Ignore how much better this looks than the rest of the video, I got another new camera and this is filmed way in the future. But now we'll finally have some good looking content here in the next few videos. Okay, so first off we're gonna go ahead and take out the compressor. This shouldn't be that hard, but first you have to remove the belt, but we're cool and already removed that. Um, so now it's just a couple bolts. We're gonna take off these lines first, and then we'll actually start taking off the bracket itself. And after all of this, I do want to weigh every component and see how much weight we actually save. For the AC lines, it's a 12 millimeter, so we're gonna break these suckers loose. We're gonna try at least. Oh. Okay, now we're gonna take off this bottom line. For this bottom one, I am going to hop under the car to make my life easier to get it out. Okay, so now that we have the lines unbolted, we got to go and take a 10 mil, and we got to take this bracket off to get the line fully off. Okay, so now we finally have that line done. That was really annoying to get to. We can go ahead and swing this line out of the way. Well, first I guess we'll unplug this connector. And before we can get off that blue connector, we have to get off this white one, which we just simply slide off. And we go and get behind this blue one and push. Okay, so now that we have the line off, we're gonna loosen up these 412 mils so then we can get the AC compressor itself out. Now we just have this last bolt, we're going to loosen this up and then we can pull the whole thing out. Now we're just going to pull the whole AC compressor out and get refrigerant all over my car and drop a bolt on it. Wraps fine, but now there's refrigerant everywhere. How, how great. Mmm, how, how pleasant. Let me clean this up and then we'll take that bracket off. Okay, so now we're gonna take off this front bracket. This front bolt is a 12 millimeter, I believe, and we do either have to replace that one or put a bolt back in there so oil doesn't leak out of our engine. I okay, so now that that front bolt is removed, we're gonna take out these two 14 millimeters. Okay, we have all the bolts out, so this front plate should just come out. Uh, oh wait, there's actually three 14 millimeters. Let me get this last one out. So now that all four of the bolts are out, this bracket should actually come off. Or not. Is the... Correction, again, there's four 14 millimeter bolts. I really hope I don't miss another one. Okay, I just seen the bracket move, so this one should be it. Okay, so now this bracket actually comes out, and this thing is extremely heavy. But now we have to go and fix that hole in the side of the engine, and we can't really just put this bolt back in because I don't think this bolt is short enough really clear so we're gonna try to see if we have one that will work we may or may not so let's go see this little thing is for real one of my favorite tools now I simply just put the bolt straight in there and I can find what thread pitch it is this one's an M8 by 1.25 which I think I have a lot of M8 by 1.25 so come over to here to our bolts M8 by 1.25 grab one of these and see if that's long enough this should hopefully be long enough. Let's test it. Okay, let's hope this is long enough. We're just gonna put that in the hole. And that's not long enough. Let's try to find one longer. So I did actually find one a hair bit longer, so we can just shove that in there and realize that isn't long enough either. We're gonna have to make a trip to the hardware store. But before we actually go to the hardware store, let's go ahead and get out the condenser and the rest of this AC stuff that we no longer need. Okay, so we're now gonna remove this AC line right here. And uh, we're just going to use a really big wrench on it and hope for the best. As well, I have a pipe wrench, so if I get to hold the other side, I can. 
So these lines are connected to the radiator via 10 mil, so we can just go ahead and take this out. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the lines out of here. Just the same as everywhere else, we're just gonna pop these off. And now we can drop the condenser out of the car. And now there's just four 10 mils holding it on, so we're gonna break these loose. Okay, so now the whole thing should just drop straight out. And now the condenser is out. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and get off these last two lines. So first we're going to go ahead and disconnect them from the firewall and then I'll work, we'll work our way down disconnecting all the bolts. Okay, so now that we have those off, there's a 10 mil right here, and we're going to go ahead and get an extension and bust that off, and then we're going to move down. Now there's another one of those brackets with a 10 mil right down in there. Just get a wrench on that and bust that loose. Okay, so now that we have that bracket loose, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the sensor from the wiring harness, which is just this plug right here. Okay. Now we can move on to the next spot, take out that bracket, and then we should be able to take out these lines. Correction, I actually think that's everything holding these lines on, so we should just be able to push this out of the car and pull it out. Okay, so now all the lines are out, and that right there is a good two pounds. So I'm curious with all the lines, the AC condenser and the AC compressor with the bracket, how much weight we actually saved. Okay, so now it's the time to weigh how much everything weighs. So I got a scale. Without anything, I'm 103 pounds, pretty much right on the dot. 102.8. We'll just round that up to three. All right, we're going to grab our AC compressor and bracket, see what we weigh. Okay, with our AC compressor and our bracket. 121 pounds with the AC compressor and the bracket. So just the compressor and bracket alone, we already saved 17 pounds. Now the condenser and the lines really don't weigh that much, but let's go ahead and get it with the condenser, and then we'll do the lines. So I'd say this is about another pound or two. We weigh about 110 pounds. And now for the lines, and just to be on the really ridiculous side, we're even going to get all the hardware that we took out, and we're just going to put that in our back pocket. Now these lines, they, they really weigh next to nothing, but we'll see if that makes any difference at all. And with the lines, I'm about 107 pounds. So we've saved about 27 pounds, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for Miata, that's a good bit, and all of that adds up. A little bit of weight reduction here, a little bit of weight reduction there will go a long way. But the biggest thing is just look how much space we have. We no longer have one extra drive belt. We also have a lot more room to work on both sides because we're not working around the lines or the condenser. And it's just going to make life a lot easier. So the question is, should you delete your AC? And yeah, I say go for it. You're going to save a bit of weight. You're going to be able to work on the car a lot easier. And honestly, these cars are convertible. Like. If you want AC, just drop the top. Now, yes, this isn't my daily driver, so I don't need AC and I don't need those luxuries. But even if this was da my daily driver, I'd still probably delete AC. Now, yes, there are some sacrifices of not having AC, but here in something like Virginia, it doesn't get enormously hot. So I say, yeah, go for it. Um, and if you guys have learned anything from this video or just purely enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I hope you guys have a great day. See you guys all next time. Peace out.